Uh, where are we going? It's not a job. I don't look at it as a, as a job. I look at it as, you know, like not a hobby either. It's sort of a lifestyle. I'm living it. I'm living this thing. The lineup that Dowsing is today started after our second record came out. At that point, it was just Mikey and I. We were spinning our wheels for a while, kind of floating around, trying to figure out how we were going to keep going, what we were going to do. And I don't know, Eric and I just got a lot closer. And I was just like, yeah, I want to do this. This is fun. I'm still having a good time. Like, even though we're having a hard time trying to keep the band a band. We had some songs written already, and we kind of figured, well, these songs are dowsing songs. I didn't want to take the songs and just rename it something else. I didn't really think that made sense. I wanted to at least have some closure if this was the last thing we did. In the end, I think it was the right choice to keep it the name it was. Mike, who was in Brave Bird, his band had just broken up, so I asked him if he would play after we had a spiritual retreat to Iceland together, uh, where we decided to continue the band and he would also join. Imagine me and Eric in a bed in Iceland. He rolls over, looks at me, and asks if I want to be in Dazzle. And then um, we met Will off the internet. I literally just sent them a Facebook message like, hey, I, I'm looking for a band, I play drums. If you need a drummer, I play them. And then I just like sent a video of me playing. If you have a band and you replace the rhythm section, it's not going to sound the same. You're gonna have a different band. The thing about the new record is there are still like flashes of the old sound in there. Like the, you'll just be like, oh, this sounds, this sounds kind of familiar, but at the same time, because of the new members and just like the hands that the songs have went in, the sound is completely different. This dowsing sounds like a culmination of all our influences. Will and Mike are from more of like a hardcore and like <laughs> punk and like ska background, which is totally different obviously than like emo. Sonically, it's just not what you, I think, normally would get from a run-of-the-mill emo band now. Definitely heavier and like more aggressive. The original name for the record, Finally Ghost, made everyone uncomfortable. We all saw Finally Ghost as sounding like the death of something, so like a conclusion. Because at first it was like, okay, that's fine. But then like as we created our own identity, it didn't make sense to follow in the same path. We wanted something that was more indicative of our current state of being an active band and being ready to go and wanting to do as much as possible. It made it sound like the band was dead. And in a way, it is. Or what it was is dead. And what's new is still to come. We figured out that between like April of this year and April of last year, we had played well over 100 shows. So that's like being on tour for about like the third of the entire year. We've done a full US supporting the sidekicks. We've been to Europe for five weeks. We've done numerous headlining tours. It's almost like a new, not even like a new chapter in Dowsing, it's almost like a new Dowsing book. With everyone in the band, we all have the same mindset and we all want to make it a, a full-time thing as much as we can. In the end, it's, it's, it's about making this band do what it was meant to do, which is play shows and have fun and go out and do everything we can do 